six minutes, six minutes to the finals. If you're not in stadium court, you are officially in the wrong place. You better get inside stadium court. We are ready to rock here in Atlanta. A win for Taryn and Kristen in Atlanta. I can't even believe we're talking about that. Like, they're not gonna win Atlanta. Two minutes to the national anthem, Atlanta. Oh my, I'm so happy we came here for our first event back, our first real event with fans. I can feel the energy, can you feel it? Oh my God. It has been an incredible weekend and we are not done yet because the AVP is back, baby. The New Orleans Athlete of the Year, Kristen Nuss. Coming out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Let me hear loud and proud for Taryn Cloak. And he is now a four-time Olympian, Jake Spiker. Yeah! First up this way out of UCLA. Let me hear it for Zion, you know. This is AVP Uncovered. this final. Can you believe what's happening right now, my man, with the LSU shirt on? Taryn Cloth and Kristen Nuss. They just don't lose, do they? They just don't lose. We will crown a first-time AVP champion today, whether it's Cloth and Nuss or Sarah Sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, would you please stand? for the playing of our national anthem. And today, a very special guest, professional saxophonist, Trey Daniel. You are watching a study, ladies and gentlemen, scanning the court at all times. The New Orleans Athlete of the Year, Kristen Nuss. It has been an incredible weekend and we are not done yet. The future of beach volleyball is on this court right now. Kidding me? 15 to 6 in set number one. Clay is on dialed in right now, 19-16 on a 9-3 run. It is set 
change this sport at the collegiate level and change our program and uh, she doubted me for years and slowly she started coming around and so now I'm just letting her hear it. <laughs>
it was such like a weird thing honestly for me because obviously I've been watching AP for a while now and I mean you always tune in on Championship Sunday and you're like wow like that's pretty cool and then to all of a sudden like be in it just like sitting in that in the like box like right before we went out and just like soaking it all in just like looking around just being like whoa like we're we're here we're in it like we're the ones on TV <laughs> yeah. we're the ones that people are watching First tournament of the year wrapped up, the AVP Tour packs up to head out west to the mecca of beach volleyball, Los Angeles, California. With only four days until the Manhattan Beach Open gets underway, Hermosa Beach native Zana Muno is excited to have some time at home. I grew up in Hermosa Beach. One of my childhood friends that I grew up with, her dad grew up in this house that I live in now and then she grew up in this house. My family moved when I was in seventh grade and I've always been bumping around moving and like this is like my first like since seventh grade like first stable house and I like never want to leave it's the most amazing thing. I didn't know that chicken was two and a half hours away. Yeah so they're near Santa Barbara so I'd go up there and lift and then I'd go to the exits where my parents live most of the time. Um, that's my dad. Say hi. <laughs> Not very friendly. These are my chicken eggs and I love them. This is what it looks like. Wow. Can you believe that? I'm, I, I grew up in LA. I don't know how to build anything, but it was fun. <laughs> it's very crooked. <laughs> it's not. It's perfect. The coolest part is the egg like thing. You don't have to go in the coop to get the eggs. It's at an angle, so when they lay in the boxes, it just rolls out. The cool thing is that you built that whole thing by yourself. That's yeah. incredible. That's really, really cool. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, I'm, sometimes I'm proud of you. <laughs> Gardening is like my favorite thing to do. I feel like it's very meditative and it's definitely translate on the court. I don't know if you see, but um, I'm always fixing the sand and that's like my Zen gardening. It's like how I try and refocus, how I like go to my happy place kind of. So I try and flatten the sand when I'm like getting a little bit overwhelmed or when I'm just trying to focus in. Um, so it's, yeah, I don't know. I garden, I lift. I hang out, I babysit my goddaughter all the time. Um, I have like incredible roommates. We hang out every night and play board games and cook each other food. And well, I cook them food, they don't cook me anything. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I have, I feel like very, very blessed to be in this opportunity. Um, it's kind of janky. It grew a lot taller than I thought. So I climbed on the roof and I tied that in there by myself, hanging over the side. And then it's now they're really tall, but they were little plants at one point. Um, so do you love tomatoes? Is that why there's so many? No, I hate tomatoes. I love to give people things. I think that everybody loves to feel good about themselves, and I feel good about myself when I give people things. So it's kind of selfish, but um, I don't know. It makes my day to like give people tomatoes or eggs, and that's why I have chickens. Um, and I don't even like tomatoes, but it's just fun to give people things. Almost all of the top beach volleyball players in the United States call Hermosa Beach home, and those that don't live here often drive or travel here to train as often as they can. The ability to have the best, deepest sand in the world to practice right in her backyard is certainly something Zana doesn't take for granted. I just wake up in the morning, I have a shed in the back, we all meet at the shed, we grab all my stuff, I think like 700 people have the code to the shed because everybody puts their volleyballs in it. Um, and we just walk down the street and set up with volleyball lines because the courts are already perfect. But no, again, so blessed and really just stoked to be living this lifestyle. So the 2021 AVP season, um, for myself, it was creating a team with four people, Chrissy, myself, um, Jeff Conover and Mark Fishman. We created like a, a really solid foundation and um, it was the first time in this sport that I felt like we were working to better ourselves as a unit um, and everybody was super bought in and that was like so exciting to me because for the first time it wasn't like worrying about logistics of everything like but it was like actually creating like the best 
team and the best like outcome you could find and like putting the, our best selves on the court, which sometimes in the sport I feel like is really hard to do because of all the extra things. Come on, can you just send it up? Oh yeah, we got him. Boom. So our goals for this season, I mean, I think we truly believe we can win an AVP. We showed it in 2019 and all the work we've put in, like we are completely different players right now. We've definitely proved that we can compete with the best of them. It's for us just being a little bit more consistent, getting more beach reps and more beach experience. Um, so for us, we want to win an AVP and we want to like make a name for ourselves on the FIVB World Tour so we can start getting points for the 2024 Olympics. With 71 courts lining the iconic strand on both sides of the Hermosa Beach Pier, you can find amateurs, families, Olympic medalists, tour veterans, or even rookies hitting the sand on any given day. With just days to go until the Manhattan Beach Open gets underway, Jake Gibb and Taylor Crabb are practicing with Olympic beach player Nick Lucena and his partner for the weekend, USA Indoor Volleyball Olympian TJ DeFalco. I want to go out a winner for sure. Like that—that that means a lot to me. Like, you know, I, my wife said, like, she's like, I feel like if you win one, it's just like a cherry on the top. I'm like, no. Like, I, I want to win one of these. I want to win one of these last two tournaments and and go out like, just knowing that that I didn't push my career too long. Like that was my whole 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 goal. Like, since I've been 36 years old, I've been like, okay, I'll play one more year. If I feel like I'm still at the top of the game and I can still win a tournament, then I'll play another year. And I've won every single year going, you know, I've, I, I've continued to prove that. Three is was tough to kind of swallow, but the cool thing is that they put in Manhattan Beach, which is, you know, our biggest tournament. And so uh, that's definitely, I mean, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to win Manhattan with Taylor, get my name on the pier with him it would be kind of everything for me because I have I have my name on with with the three other partners that I've really played the majority of my career with uh, I've won with them and I but I haven't won with Taylor so uh, I want that shot although his eyes are firmly set on raising the trophy this weekend with Taylor Jake's been making time spent off the sand and away from the gym more of a priority as his career comes to a close I'm just ready like I'm not sad I'm not like bummed I'm like I'm ready and I've been ready for a little bit but um and I'm sure once I step away from it I'll you know I'll miss parts of it for sure I'll miss like the energy of the events like winning and you know you know winning an AVP tournament there's nothing like it and so I'm gonna miss putting myself out there and going for that but man I'm just ready for I'm just ready for like the attention to be put on my kids like I want I want the attention to be put on their soccer game. Are you guys ready? Okay, here we go, ready. The biggest thing for me is gonna be my summers. So like I love camping, fishing, boating, hiking, like all that stuff. And my summers have been gone. For me, it's gonna be spending my summers the way I wanna spend them, you know? So even when I start my club here in Huntington Beach, like I'm gonna leave gaps where I'm gonna go up to Boise and I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna spend my summers doing what I wanna do, which is, that kind of stuff, because I'm really, Crosby is is uh, nine years old. I probably have like six years where he actually wants to hang out with me, you know what I mean? So I gotta like, I'm gonna enjoy those years with him, because they're, they're, they're coming to an end for sure. <laughs> oh, watching him play? Sorry, I thought you meant the kids. Um, not as much anymore, sometimes. I was crazy nervous in the, for the Olympics. Like that was nerve wracking. But like the ADP, I wasn't nervous. Like that just felt like gravy, like just like fun. Like, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I still get nervous. Not as much though. Did the kid get into it? Uh, Crosby totally My does. Son does. Yeah, he loves it. Did you watch any of Daddy's Olympic matches? No, only one. Yeah, and did I win it? Yeah. Oh. Was it, did you have 
fun watching it, or did it, was it just kind of boring? It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you have it. So before Atlanta, I really didn't do it. Post Olympics, like I just like I just decompressed. I didn't touch a weight. I didn't uh, watch what I was eating. I didn't I didn't uh, get my treatment. And so it was just it was just dialing everything in. Okay, get in. Let's get let's get a full workout in. Let's get treatment. Let's get the body feeling right. You realize like you know even from it was just like two weeks from Tokyo to uh, Atlanta, like just kind of not doing anything and then going and playing that tournament, I feel 45, you know what I mean? Whereas normally, like I fight the good fight for a reason, like I put in all that time so that my body can do this, you know, I mean, this is, it's a big load, like I'm, you know, I, I feel my aches and pains, but I can manage that with, you know, proper workouts and treatment and ice and heat and stim and, you know, like, like there's a lot of work that goes into this 45 year old body, so. Heading into Manhattan, I'm putting all that work back in. Also in the USA Volleyball Gym is Zana, getting some final recovery in preparation for Manhattan Beach, as both athletes want to ensure their bodies are ready to be put to the test over the weekend. Unfortunately, play one of the semifinal, Chrissy went to pass a short ball and her knee kind of dropped in and played the point out and she turned around and we're like walking back to the service line and she's like, I think I tore my meniscus. And I'm like, all right. Uh, <laughs> and she was like pretty stoic about it. She wasn't like tearing up or like wincing, but she's like, I, it hurt a pop and it just doesn't feel right. And then the next ball she passed and she's like, I can't like move laterally. And I was like, okay, like whatever you need to do. <laughs> like I just tried to play that supporter role because I obviously do want what's best for her. Um, and what's best for our team in the long run. But I was like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Um, and so she ended up playing the whole match. She played incredible given the situation. Um, I think during every timeout, she would like put her towel over her face and like cry because she was in so much pain. Um, I don't know, I'm pretty much at a loss of words. I think I cried pretty much all morning because we've just put in so much work. Um, so yeah, it's a bummer, but Definitely not giving up. I think we need to just wait and see, hear what the doctor says and then go from there. Manhattan's in four days, three days. So it's pretty stressful, a huge, huge, huge bummer. Um, we're both pretty crushed. Like we've put in so much work. We like really, really proved to ourselves, to everybody that like we can do this. We belong here. We can fight to win some titles this year and um, it's pretty heartbreaking. But cross our fingers, hopefully things will turn around. The Manhattan Beach Open is the Wimbledon of beach volleyball. A true open that anyone can pay to sign up and try to qualify for. This tournament holds a special place in the hearts of volleyball players and fans, with the winners being etched in history with a bronze plaque on the Manhattan Beach Pier forever celebrating their accomplishment. What it means to the players across the board, like it's, it's, it's the one you want to win. So for whatever reason, you know, whether that's made up or it's just in our minds or it's because you get a little plaque on the pier, uh, I don't know if that means, you know, you're, you're kind of sealed in on that pier for, for, you know, the rest of your life certainly. But you also get your name up there with like Karch Karaiz, Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh, like all the legends of our sport. As you're walking down the pier, you get to see your name, boom, 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 and then Jake Gibb, and it gives you the chills just talking about it. So, uh, yeah, it's what we put on it, right? That's why it's more important. It's the same tournament it is as Chicago. They call Chicago our, our, our championship or whatever, but you really want to win Manhattan. Next time on AVP Uncovered, Zana gets scrappy with her last minute partner. Taryn and Kristen face the toughest challenge of their young career and make history while they're at it. Jake and Taylor set out on a mission to prove that Jake still got it as he gets ready to leave the sand.
for the final time.